गुड इवनिंग ऑल डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक मॉड्यूल टू फर्स्ट पार्ट व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू मल्टी कैरियर मॉड्यूलेशन वेर वी आर यूजिंग मेनली ओ एफ डी एम एंड ओ एफ डी एम बेसिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन पर्टिकुलर स्लाइड सी जनरली इफ वी टॉक अबाउट मल्टी कैरियर मॉड्यूलेशन वी आर यूजिंग इन ओके एल टी ऑल्सो बट Apart from LTE and WiMAX, we are using in latest technology. Generally, we are using in wireless communications, digital subscriber lines, wireless LAN, digital radio broadcasting, beyond 3G cellular technology such as WiMAX and LTE. The common features of the multi-carrier modulus technique is that we are using IFT and DFT as the transmitter or receiver end. Okay, and what vice versa of the modulation and demodulation taking place, whichever it is. The discrete multi-tone DMT technique also, other than the orthogonal frequency division multiplexing, we are using for above the four technique of the multi-carrier modulations. Multi-carrier concept, it is uh, mainly to give to achieve high data rates. and mitigate inter symbol interference in broadband channels okay that you can understand broadband spreading where the fading of channels fading of the signals is getting reflected by the earth terrain or it may be high rise building or it may be because of uh, okay spreading uh, losses of the atmosphere the atmosphere is having some of particles where it is getting scattered polarization etc is taking place so many others uh, incidents another um, other phenomena is happening in the okay cloud etc so because of that the signal is getting converted into multi carrier and that we have to give a diversity of to resolve to mitigate this particular okay multi carrier concept at the receiver so the concept is the order to have a channel does not have isi the symbol time ts let's symbol time ts has to be much larger than the channel delay spread t to and it should be turns the bandwidth less than the coherence bandwidth cb what is the concept to achieve symbol time symbol time ts it should be far far greater than delay spread okay and the multi carrier modulation divide into high rate transmitter bit stream into l lower rate sub stream where l is chosen so that the each of the subscriber has effective symbol time ts into l far better far far greater than again the delay spread and hence effectively If this will be isi free that is our purpose of mitigations of the multi carrier concept these individual sub stream can then be sent over l parallel sub carriers maintaining the total desired data rate the data rate of each such l sub carrier is much less than the total flat rate and so the corresponding sub carrier bandwidth is much less than the total system bandwidth the number of sub stream is chosen to ensure that the each sub carrier has a bandwidth less than the coherent bandwidth cb of the channel inter symbol interference multi carrier modulation divide the wide band incoming data stream into l narrow band sub stream so entire sub entire stream data stream okay ts is being divided into l number okay of the narrow okay part each of which then transmitted over different orthogonal frequencies of carrier individually l the number of sub stream l is chosen to make the symbol time ts is sub stream much greater than the delay spread to the channels and equivalently to make the sub stream bandwidth less than the channel coherent bandwidth cb this ensures that the sub stream will not be experience significant 
ISI that will be should be a ISI free. The simple station of this multi-carrier transmitter receiver is given by figure 2 followed by after this particular slide. Multi-carrier multi transmitter and receiver the figure which is shown as high rate data signal to rate or BPS okay suppose the TCS is having TCS entire so signal okay is having say like TS, TS already we discussed and it is having the signals data signal say like rate R BPS the pass bandwidth B is broken into L sub parallel sub stream is data rate of R by L but natural and the pass band will be B by L so it is something like the entire okay TS that is broken into which is having the rate of R and the bandwidth of B say like a bogey a good strain which is having which is a carrier which is taking it is uh, carrying the uh, uh, sub carriers of the things and that will be multiplex or it will be orthogonals okay orthogonals of OFDM to the distance to the destinations with L 20 say like 21 bogey which is having the consignment of the say like any data or voice channels or whatever it is okay so that r by r means total to a by r r by l and b by l that will be bandwidth after passing through the channels as of this received signal would appear the figure so carrier overlaps in the sub carrier bandwidth very much smaller than the coherent bandwidth that is we have already told that it should be a far far greater than the okay a delay and other thing delay time so bl is well uh, less than of the particular bogey that will be very less than the total cb okay and that is that will entire book entire good stain of course it is more than 21 times it can be ensured that each sub carrier experiences approximately flat fading of course if you are dividing of the 21 okay say like l so part of the top this looks like it will be rectangular almost this is the diagram where figure one the basic multi carrier transmitter high rate stream of r bps broken into l parallel sub stream ps with each with r by l and then multiply the by different carrier frequency that is given by okay this is the concept of phase shift keying orthogonal phase shift keying we are using generally this is the standard things we are using it okay so that is rbps it is given here serial to parallel and that is converted into l entire all bps is divided into l say like entire train of the things is divided into 21 bogey and that every bogey this is having orthogonal frequency and that will be okay at last it will be at the receiver it or at the transmitter whatever it is it is orthogonal and it is giving that total signal xt the basic multi carrier receiver is subscribe is code decoded separately required l dependent receiver as we have told it is coded with the these things that to be recorded decoded at the receiver end and that the thing which is being xt that is on the transmitter that will be at the receiver it is being received yt which is which is okay you can say modulated or with the multi carriers multiplex carriers multi okay today total l that should be with that also orthogonal with the different coding that has to be decoded to remove from signals from the carrier okay it means the destinations the entire goods train has to be has to be which is having l equal to 21 bogey that entire bogey has to be if it is the consignment that to be particular l okay that the particular bogey which is having the consignment of boxes 
has to be unloaded with the tech technology here with demodulations or demultiplex with using ortho ortho orthogonal the same coding system which has been used in the transmitting end so that to be taken care of the receiver end and that to be done by demodulation here so this is the thing this is the concept of we are using low pass filter here okay and then we are giving parallel to series there we are adding up all serial to parallel and here it is parallel to series we are sending the information all parallel to the serial figure 3 you can see that this become l l l that is fl and that is almost rectangular on the top part so that it is been divided in small so entire bandwidth is divided into l of frequency of f1 to fl if it is if it is fdm frequency division multiplexing is there where the channel is also frequency and the carrier also frequency if the time division it will be different that will be a digital okay uh, digital channels uh, digital sub carriers of the multiplex carriers so sub carriers the transmitter sub multi carrier signal experiment of correction flat fading that we have seen here sub carrier b by l that is uh, far far less than the coherent bandwidth of the signal even though the overall channel has pin frequency selective fading that is b greater than cb that you can see here this is very clear is explained how exactly it is OFDM basic. Now we have discussed how exactly it is being divided, how we have parallel serial to parallel and parallel serial the receiver and transmitter from the okay pilot series SP serial to parallel and it is getting orthogonal phase shift keying with the different coding system that could be decoded of the okay parallel to series and that will be same coding which we have used at the transmitter end that can be used for decoding the things and that is the same concept LTE used in actually OFDM okay uh, right I am going to discuss now OFDM implies a fast courier transform to achieve the L RF radius path in the both the transmitter and receiver IFT are able to create a multi multitude of the orthogonal subcarriers using just a single radio so IFT, FFT using for the okay transmitter or receiver whatever it is coding or decoding that okay that is depending how exactly we are using it. Block transmission with the guard intervals. Every grouping L data symbols into the block known as OFDM symbol with the duration of T second where T is L into T S. Okay. Guard time T G that is that is the base to avoid the ISI interference signals introduce the between between each OFDM L symbols to keep the independent of others after going through the wireless channels as below you can see that OFM symbols guard OFM symbols it is every OFM signal which is 1 to L we are having L, L numbers of this has been given with the guard okay like you must be knowing the every bogey to avoid if any if the the engine is putting the brake the entire the bo one bogey should not collided with the other bogey colliding nothing by interference and so that to avoid a uh, respective proper guard is being giving space between the two two bogey which is one to twenty one whatever it is or you can see that while we are putting okay the track lines of the train there every track is giving the gap of the after every track we are giving some gap while the train is running that get expanded after the heat due to the heat of the frictions that is getting and that should not be the two tracks will not be collided and that may be giving a chance of accident of the train. So this is the thing, it's a basic concept of the life and uh, everywhere in technology we are using the same concept. Here the guard which we may call it delay split, it has been guard means we have given delay there, okay, in the symbol 
and that is known as God there. So TG is time delay of God is larger than the delay spread of the channels. So where we are introducing delay spread but TG is greater than the delay speed that is the first condition of the omg symbol has to be interference free that we have discussed first part of the first slide of this particular what i am showing here OFDM transmission allow ac within an omg signal symbol OFDM symbol but the including sufficiently large guard band if you give large band that will be of course greater than delay speed it is possible to guarantee that there is no interference between the subsequent OFDM symbol. There will not be ISI. OFDM basic, we have continuation, circular convolutions and the DFT. The last part of the L which is having okay, the delay guard at the end, that will be if we put in the beginning of the, okay, if we put beginning of OM signal, this, this part we are putting big now, that becomes circular. Okay, that is having advantage of the things. Like I tell you, if you are unloading it or loading it, the train, goods train, if it is a circular path and that all the goods are kept in the center of the one area, which is in circular area, there the goods train is moving the very first part of the bogey. And we are keep moving, uploading, that will be same as allocating the channels, allocating the carriers, okay, and uh, sub-carriers, and we are making modulating with the carriers, that will be easier for us to do the modulation technique in circular path, okay. So this is the thing, or you are sitting on the dining table, and you are rotating the things of the dishes is, uh, yeah, that is getting in center part of the dining table is getting it is easy for the people the guests to serve himself or herself whatever this is he likes or she likes so that is the practical approach of the life and that we are doing it om basic o ofdm transmission allow ic within the ofm symbol but the including that we should god is far far greater than the delay spread okay that we have discussed delete okay that the part we have taken okay right god and there we delay the god is far better so to avoid the isi that the first condition of the okay uh, isi free then here we i told what is circular convolution and the dft we are using consequent of fdm symbols have been rendered orthogonal of the god interval the next talk next task is to attempt to remove the ISI within each OFDM symbol. Of course, when an input data stream is sent through the linear time variant, invariant FIR channels, and the output is linear convolutions of the input and the channel that is y equal to x n orthogonal with the hn. And that the things we have shown here, DFT of y n is equal to DFT hn and this thing. We continuation of OM basic and the circular functions that will be Sn into all entire L that will be X and modulated with entire L. Okay. It's a periodic version of Xn and the, of the period L. The other words is value of Yn equal to Hn orthogonal with Xn is the sum of the product of the L terms. And in the case of circular convolution, the, it would then be possible to take DFT of the channel output Yn that is DFT of Hn into this. So DFT will become in circular this thing, convolution, which is the frequency domain. That is, if you convert into frequency domain, it is the Ym and Hm and Xm. That is the thing in bracket okay, we have shown there. Uh, L part, L point DFT is defined as this formula. Okay. While the inverse of IDFT is defined as here, that can be this formula and isofree channel frequency domain is given by x and y m by s m. Cycle prefix. We have seen the guard which is far better, far far greater than the delay spread to make the SI between the two, two adjacent okay, OFDM, uh, OFDM okay, part okay. and there the things it is all together it will be SI OFDM symbol. The 
cyclic prefix act as a buffer region of the or guard interval of the product of the OFM signals for I psi. The CP is obtained by the taking the last few symbols from the length n block of FDM symbol. It is appended the starter symbol block. As a result, the transfer of OFM signal block is n plus v, and that is we can see that OFM signal of the independent and the avoid the ISI and ICI. The length of v of the CP should be at least equal to channel order. That you can discuss here of M cyclic prefix. So all all cyclic prefix with the guard. Okay, we are calling cyclic prefix and with the data of the OFM symbol that we are calling data payload. Okay, so in between every OFM symbol, the data, this is nothing but the data payload. We are seeing all together cyclic prefix we are making into cyclic prefix and all the OFM data symbols we are making like we have seen here. So everything is given here how exactly it is. Okay, this is in cyclic prefix, this one data symbol with the idea of making the thing. The cyclic prefix performs two main functions. It provides a guard inter interval to eliminate ISI, already we told that. It repeats the end of the symbol so that the linear convolution of the frequency selective multipath channels can be modeled as a circular convolution, we told. So, uh, what becomes a circular convolution, we have discussed how we are doing it. Which then in terms of may transfer the frequency domain via a DFT. This approach accommodates the simple frequency domain processing such as single division equalization. Cyclic prefix we have to discuss. This is cyclic prefix of given by FCP equal to SL last L V and the incrementing one and that is the last one it will be okay. This is data up to here L1 is cyclic prefix. So we are making as FCP. Cyclic prefix again. OM after cyclic prefix, we can say that how different from OM OFDM cycle prefix. Okay, OFDM cycle prefix creates a circular convolution. Okay, at the receiver, and that even though you can see here, okay, the which is being circle here, C O N R O. See that you can see how it is circle here, okay, all together. Often cycle prefix you can see here due to cycle prefix why you depend on the axo okay a circular wrap values it is given by here and this is the things we have to make sure of the OFM's cycle prefix frequency equalization why it is required equalization is the process of adjusting the balance between frequency component with the receive OFM signal frequency domain equalizer has been applied as the multi system to enhance the transmission rate by reducing the transmit redundancy in the form of guard interval and that is given by here that's all thank you very much okay